Today I want to explain a few things about circuit interrupters. It's important and critical to have these in certain places of your home. Specifically for heat cable needs, there are certain circuit interrupters you have to have and others that do not qualify. So let me explain what a GFCI is. You're probably familiar with these test reset outlets. You'll find them in your bathroom, kitchen, places around the house. They've got a test reset button on it. This is a GFCI, a little bit different than one the, the ones that are qualified for heat cable. But the heat cable ones, they do the same thing generally. They cut the circuit when there's an imbalance in the electrical current. These are some examples of what we can use for the heat cable uh, to protect the system. The first one I wanna show you right here is a breaker. This goes in the panel. It has a test button on here and you can reset the breaker. It looks like a normal breaker, uh, but it is uh, GFEP, which is equipment protection, not a CI, which is circuit interrupter. It has a higher load capability so that when the heat cable turns on, it does not give you nuisance trips just because you turned it on. So I can explain more of that later, but there are other options where you can have the GFEP built in on the power cord. This is designed for 120 volt. This one is designed for 240 volt. And we have a controller here that a lot of times you can have a controller designed on your home built into the system. So it automates your system a little bit and we can build the GFEP into the box and into the controller. Uh, oftentimes for a fraction of the cost for uh, like one of these one of these other ones. So there are a, a few places you can place that GFEP to protect your heat cable system, but I would highly recommend the breaker or one of these plug points or putting it in your control box. But please, for heat cable, do not use a GFCI. They are not qualified for this. Uh, go with one that's qualified. I'm hoping that this information has been helpful and gives you a better understanding of what the GFEP does. If you have additional uh, questions or comments, please list them below and we'll get back with you when we can.